Okay, you should have your paper and you should have a white pencil, white colored pencil. And if you mess up, don't worry because we're gonna paint over the whole thing. So even if you have a crazy oops line, whatever, we're gonna paint over it, so don't worry about it. First thing that you need to do is on the back, write your name and your grade. Okay, now flip it back over. And I have my oops line, but it's okay. I don't need a new piece of paper because I'm gonna paint over it anyway later. But the first thing I wanna do for your pumpkins is we need to make sure that they have a place to sit. So what that's gonna look like is we need to draw a horizon line across the page. Now a horizon line can look a lot of different ways. It can be nice and flat, like a field. Um, it could be hilly. It could be mountains. It could be a uh, slant. It's up to you how you wanna do it. I'll just make mine kind of like a bumpy hill, all right? So that's my horizon line. What that means is this area is going to be my sky, and this whole area down here is going to be my ground. So my pumpkins, I'm going to draw a big pumpkin somewhere in the, in the bottom of my paper, and I can let it go above my horizon line even. So your pumpkin can just be a circle shape, it can be an oval shape. I've seen lots of weird looking pumpkins. So they can be a big circle shape. Um, you could do another smaller pumpkin, maybe up here. And maybe I'll make this one kind of fat. So I got a short and squat. And maybe I could even have some that are up on the hill. And maybe I'll have one that's kind of going off the page. It's just kind of right there. We're gonna add more details later. So this is all gonna be green grass here, and this is gonna be sky, and you can choose next time to do a daylight sky or a night sky. But today we're only painting the pumpkins. Next time you can add some other stuff. So first of all, our pumpkins are um, nice and round, and if you want to try and draw the stem, you can. And if they're in the distance, they might have a smaller stem. And notice that my stem, it can come up like that, or you can continue it and have it do a little bump. And that way it looks like it's kind of growing out of the pumpkin. I like doing that. So you kind of go whoop. And then it looks like it's kind of popping up out of the pumpkin. You can even draw a little leaf if you want to. And then here, maybe I'll have that one kind of curving around. And then here I can put one right there. Doesn't matter. It's up to you how you want to do it. Almost looks like a giant apple right now, doesn't it? But not when I'm done painting, it'll look like a pumpkin. So pumpkins have lines that kind of curve around and then in the middle, they kind of come straight up and down. We don't need to worry too much about those lines right now in my drawing, but if you want to draw them just to help guide yourself, you can. And now they're almost like, like little parentheses or like a letter C on this side and then it's like, whoop, flipped C on the other side to make those lines. Now, Mrs. Hall, will you please pause the video so these students can draw their horizon line and draw their pumpkins? Okay, now that you've drawn out your pumpkins, you have your horizon line, your name is on the back, we're gonna start painting. So here we have our paints and we have our water and our paint brushes and I gave you some red orange yellow and white because red and yellow mixed together will make orange and you can add a white to make it a little bit lighter so what you're gonna do is take your brush you can wipe it on the side remember we never smack Mr. paintbrush or we make a mess so you're gonna wipe your paintbrush on the side and I can go ahead and just grab some orange and start painting my pumpkin. Now look at that. Remember I made an, app, an oops line right there? It's getting covered up right now. No big deal. I'm gonna worry about my stem next class. So you can paint right over your stem. We're just using our orange, yellow, and red today. All right, so I got this orange going on. Now you might be wondering, Mrs. Hall, why'd you give us these other colors? 
And that's because you can mix them on your paper to make a cool effect. So pumpkins and most things are not just completely one color. They can have shadows and highlights. So what I might do is I wanna rinse my brush when I switch colors because I don't wanna ruin all of the paints for all the friends at my table. And I'll put my brush in the white. And usually highlights are up on the top because it's like a like if the sun or the moon is shining on it, then there might be some little marks of light on them. And if you feel like that looks a little bit too crazy, you can actually, did you see what I did? I rinsed my brush in water and now I'm just gonna use a clean brush to kind of blend a little bit so that paint is still wet, it just blends together. That looks pretty cool. Now, on the bottom of my pumpkin, there should be a little bit of a shadow. So what I might do is take the red because it's a little bit darker, but it's still a part of orange because orange is a mixture of red and yellow. And I might just kind of paint the bottom a little bit of red. And then maybe I'll rinse my brush and I'll mix a little bit yellow in the top too. And you can start to play around with blending. Ooh, look at that. It's mixing in on my pumpkin, making some cool lines. Now, if you want to get a little wild in here, you can try and do some scrofito. So scrofito is when I take, I flip my brush and I use the handle as a tool and I can draw some pumpkin lines in there. Okay. And then I could even try and like draw my stem a little bit and then we're going to paint it again next time. So don't even worry about it. I'm going to draw in some lines for my pumpkin. Very nice. That looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna move on and do my other littler ones. And those should be pretty quick and easy, I think. Gonna do some orange. Rinse my brush. Maybe some yellow on top. If you don't wanna use the white, you don't have to. It's your painting. Red on the bottom to kind of give it a little shadow on the bottom. Make it look a little darker and then I can blend, blend, blend. Okay. And then last but not least, scrofito. If you're, see how this one doesn't work as well? If your paint is really watery or, or like, yeah, I guess watery, it might not scrofito as well, but that's okay. You can still get a cool look. Okay. So Mrs. Hall, if you could please, oh, you know what? I don't want to stop the video yet because what you're going to do when this is all done for today, next time we'll paint the grass and we'll paint the sky and we'll paint the stems. Okay. Today we're just doing the pumpkins. When you're done, you're going to put your brush back in your cup. You're going to carefully take your painting over to the drying rack and put it in there carefully. And then you have some time. If you have some time, you can free draw or read a book. Thank you.